<laughs> Don't make any noises. Right. <clears throat> mm -hmm. See me, huh? Not see you. I can see you now. No, no, no. No, uh, I, no I know what. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah, I'll delete it. <laughs> right. Uh, this is Ginge. No, that's Patty, obviously. This is Ginge, the cat. Ginger's got a bad leg. Now, she's always trying to, she's always been trying to get into the house. She knows Tiger's onto a good thing, but you know, she used to just come up and say meow, and I wasn't buying it. So we let her in, she stayed the night, uh, vomited on the floor, and then left the next day. Fair enough, stress-related vomit. It might have been Tiger. Maybe Tiger was so outraged at Ginger's incursion. Anyway, now, then a few days later, uh, Ginger comes back with a gammy paw. She's like this at the door. Ah, oh, look, there. I naturally, <laughs> I assume she was faking it, yeah, trusting cat. But I've looked and there's a couple of wounds, yeah. They're not bleeding, there's no infection, there's no stink, so I'm assuming it's not infected. Although I'm not a fully qualified vet, obviously. Anyway, so that's that. So that's Ginge. She went away uh, the day before yesterday, she's not been back. You know, hopefully she won't come back. I mean, you know, she can't hear me. She can't, probably can't even understand English. Neither can Tiger. These are Tiger cats. <clears throat> anyway, that's that. The other day, me and Patty went to the Amper, which is the local government office, for all sorts of things like registering a name on a property or moving house or whatever, getting an ID card. Also, it's where people get married. Well, we got married a year and a half ago. Marvellous. So when you see a Farang and a Thai lady getting, you know, wed in all the whites and the flowers, you sort of, you know, we exchange eye contact and go, oh, well done, you're nice, you know, good luck, you know. Couple of the same things, Farang's time, and then this couple walked past, turned around and looked straight at me, and I thought, oh, same deal. I said, good luck, uh, big day today, well done, you know. And he's looking at me, and I shook his hand, and he's shaking my hand, and he's, he looks a bit nonplussed. And then somebody else in the group, in the entourage, turns around and says hello to Patty. And it turns out they knew each other. I said, oh, that's nice, they went away, you know. <clears throat> and I said, that's nice, you knew that? She said, that's my ex-boyfriend, the guy who I meh, no like. I went, oh, <laughs> I didn't know. How could I know? I just saw a fellow Farang tying the knot, doing the thing, and I went, so he, he's probably thinking, what, this idiot, this English prick, going, mm, ah, like, <laughs> Patty's ex. <clears throat> anyway, but now we're, just, we're all right now, aren't we, darling? Uh, I've just been rear-ended, if you'll forgive the expression, by a guy in a white, uh, I don't know what it is, Mitsubishi or whatever. Um, because the guy in front of me stopped so suddenly and I just about managed, but the guy behind couldn't stop, so he's, you know, he just smashed into me. No problem, they're fixing the insurance things now. Anyway, he gets out of the car, I don't recognise him, Patty turns up, it's her sort of general manager, number two at the hotel. He remembered me, <laughs> but I don't remember him. Uh, he said, I knew it was you as soon as you got out of the car. Anyway, he came out apologising, so that's good. Christ, have I had a stroke? Is one eye bigger than the other? Is one side sloping? Fuck me. Anyway, there you go. Coincidence after coincidence, it's all connected. And now I'm just parked basically where the, where the incident was, uh, outside a massage parlour and the Royal Danish Consulate, which are next door to each other. <laughs> all right. Ta-ta. Road. We are now, are you making me look fat or slim with that thing? Anyway, we're on the bridge from Phuket to the mainland. It's called Salasin Bridge, Salasin. And it's a beautiful bridge, all the way over there, Delhi. And we're now going to the mainland, Pangna, and we're gonna get the ferry to Koh Samui. I'm not sure I want to get on a ship in this. I didn't know who it was. I just saw some guy getting married. He looked at me, I looked at him, I said, good luck, shook his hand. And off he went and Patty said, what are you doing? I said, that guy, getting married. And she said, that's my ex-boyfriend. I hate him. Oh no, I better cut that bit. She said, <clears throat> she said, that's my ex-boyfriend. I went, oh. I said, well, he seems like an okay guy. She went mad. He's a bastard. No, I've got to cut that as well. Oh, 